What if you could get perfectly exposed photos guaranteed just by changing one setting on your camera? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you where to find that, how to use it, and why it's so good. All that coming up. So first of all, in the simplest terms, exposure is just how bright or how dark a photo actually is. And when you understand that, you understand how to perfectly expose an image. But a lot of times you're caught changing around camera menus and settings on your dials, and you're trying to figure out what exposure is the best. Now, now to understand exposure best, you must first understand the histogram, which is this graph right here. It's a representation in graph form of where the light is in the image. So on the far left, you have blacks, then you have your shadows, in the middle you have your midtones, then you have your highlights, and all the way to the right you have your whites. Now there's no perfect histogram to have every single time because every scene is totally different. Your light's different and it's always changing. What you need to know though is that it's always said that you have more information in your image files if that histogram is pushed more to the right side, so the midtones and your highlight section. The one part you need to watch out for in the histogram is pushing your histogram all the way to touch the very far right edge and the very far left edge in your whites and your blacks. If you push that all the way to one side or the other, that's eliminating any data left in those image pixel files and you're not gonna be able to pull anything out of it. So how do you know if something is pushed too far to the right? That's where this setting comes in. We don't want to overexpose, we want perfect exposure and you get perfect exposure with zebra stripes. The zebra stripe setting on your camera shows you where the highlights are and where it's too bright on your photo. Dialing that to make it a longer exposure shows you more zebra stripes in the frame, thus a higher exposed photo, as you can see it touching the far right side of the histogram, but decreasing the exposure brings that histogram back towards the middle of the histogram and gives you more image data. So where do you find these zebra stripes to give you the perfect exposure? So I'm using a Sony camera. So on the Sony cameras, you can go to the settings menu on the first page and find where it says zebra. Now, when you click that, you have different options. I like going to 100 plus because that makes the sensor really sensitive to those bright areas and allows me to find anything that's gonna be overexposed. So 100 plus is where I like to go. Now, if you're using a different camera model than a Sony, if you just find zebra in your settings menu or in the photo menu, you're likely going to find that zebra stripe setting. It might also be flashing highlights labeled that way. Now in just a second, I'm gonna be showing you how to use these zebra stripes perfectly, but first I wanna tell you about my course, 10 Day Landscape Photographer, where you can go through the best camera settings, how to get your exposure spot on, plus we're gonna go through eight hours of composition and editing tutorials so that you're gonna produce the best photos of your life after watching this course. Right now it's on sale for only $48, so check out that link below in the video description. So zebra stripes, how do you use them best? On my camera, you can see the zebra stripes that are highlighted. What I like to do, especially with this 100 plus zebra stripe setting, is just reduce my exposure. You can see I'm shooting at f6.3, ISO 100, and 125th of a second. You can either increase or decrease your exposure or your ISO. I like doing my exposure and I get it just to where you can barely see the zebra stripes up in the sky and the highlights of the clouds or the sunrise, anything like that. And then I take my photo and I have a perfectly exposed photo. If I go to play and display, you can see the histogram on here is pretty much in the mid-tone section and a little bit pushed to the right with that tail end on the right side. If you want another video that's gonna help you out a ton, go ahead and click this video that's showing up on your screen right now that's also gonna help you out.